hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today guys it is this week in ARC. We're going to be talking about all the events that have happened over the last eight days technically. Not seven days because we last shot on Friday or Thursday technically. So we are trying to cover on Saturdays now because we miss all the videos from before. So we miss all the updates and we get them a day late and stuff. So I wanted to make sure... I was starting to get videos on time, so you guys were getting the best possible information at the right time. So it is currently the 24th, uh, it's Friday night, and we're going to go ahead and talk about this. You guys will see this Saturday coming out, midday, if not early morning, on Saturday. So let's go ahead and get right to it, guys. First things first, Aberration, they have officially announced it is coming out. Now, um, I am optimistically hopeful, which would be the best way to put it. Uh, it's supposed to come out December 12th. This is going to be for all three platforms. That's right, all three platforms. PC will not be getting this first. It is coming out to all three platforms on the exact same day. So I'm really excited about that. Um, with that note, as we talk about this at this exact moment, we will be switching our PC or our Xbox dedicated server. It will either be switched or we will add a second server for Aberration alone. So I will make sure we set that up with you guys and we'll talk with all that kind of stuff. Um, and especially if we're setting up a separate Aberration or if we move it over, whatever we end up doing with that, um, we will have more of a group to work through. So we'll talk about that one. Now, there was a turret update. So we're going to jump to a previous message that they sent out and we're going to talk about this so basically if you guys see uh they, on the community crunch 109 and arc news they introduced this new dino he's really cool um he kind of looks like a, um, a murloc from world of warcraft if you know who murloc is um that's cool but what they introduced was the update up uh chart changes so basically they've been looking on all kinds of stuff looking at server server performance and problems around it um and they expect that this will affect a 50 percent increase in performance on official servers so it could be in extreme cases up to 300% better. So what this is, is basically what they're going to do is they're going to modify the amount of turrets you can have within a certain number of units. Uh, basically it's a hundred turrets within 10 K things. This is going to be on December 5th. They are going to officially flip over to that. And that is going to be on there. Um, and this is only for non mounted turrets. Um, and mounted turrets can shoot non-mounted tames, but to reduce their range to the equivalence of an auto turret. So basically, um, I don't want to get too much into this because the other one's going to talk about it too. But basically, they're going to disable all turrets that exceed it. This is going to help with performance. Uh, along with that, the things that are going to affect are only auto turrets, plant species, and tech turrets on there. If you want to keep it um, on your dedicated service or anything, you need to add this line right here. Uh, so if you have a dedicated server or anything like that, that's going to be on there. So. Uh, that's all going to come out on the 5th of December, and that's a patch that's going to be coming out on there. So now we're going to jump back over to the other one. I apologize for looking back and forth, and I'll link all of these links down in the description down below. You guys can check it out down there. But basically, they're going to be releasing on the 12th, and they're getting all that stuff ready. So then players can expect a new heavy turret on the 27th. Uh, they don't really specify if that means December or November. My guess is it's going to be November, uh, and they're going to take some time to get the feedback to see if there's anything that's crazy about it. So they're going to work on that. They're going to drop the heavy turret, and then they're going to probably change it a little bit right before the release of the limits. So that's what they're going to focus on right now. Uh, and so to all of you that have things on officials, make sure you take advantage to slowly transition your base using the new heavy turrets. So they're giving you guys about a week to transition over. So make sure you guys are destroying and getting rid of all those auto turrets picking up or whatever you want to have it had be uh, I would suggest picking them up because it's going to work out better so then with the release of aberration that hard limit will be released so pretty much we've got a lot of crazy things coming so let's go over it real quick I just want to I want to be very clear about this is on the 27th they are introducing the hard turret on PC to get everything corrected then on the 5th they are going to release to all platforms they are going to max out the limit and they're going to have the heavy turret come out prior to that for the rest of the platforms from what I understand this is not overly clear they're not being clear uh, I think it might be partially the PC also it says down here so we'll keep an eye open for that if i see an update prior to the 27th which is only monday or anything of that nature i will give you guys as soon as i get to it i want to be clear um on what things are coming out so those of you on xbox and ps4 can be prepared if something's going to change massively right before so that's what that really comes down to on on that one that's what they're changing on the auto turrets um they did acknowledge that there's other things on the list they need to test verger um they're talking about veggie cakes, tech turrets, and all that kind of stuff. Knockback for some dinos. Throwing explosives on the back of dinos. And all that kind of fun stuff. 
and how they want to figure it out. So basically, overall, they're just saying be aware for all the things that are coming. If you guys want more, there's more information from all kinds of stuff on there. Uh, talking about the turrets and all that kind of stuff. But basically, in a nutshell, that's what it's coming down to, and that's everything. They've also released for the Americas the PS4, SIEA, the the heads, the patches for all that kind of stuff. Plus, there's holiday events coming out. If you guys did not know, this weekend is a Thanksgiving event. Um, that is not going to happen this year. The reason is is because they're trying to push aberration. Uh, but on top of that, they're going to introduce a Christmas themed holiday event prior to that. So as soon as that launches, I will keep my eyes very closely on this. I will give out a huge update for you guys, let you guys know that that Christmas event has happened. Uh, for those of you, if you guys get this, you've got till the 28th. All kinds of stuff is on sale for ARC. That is all the different things. If you guys look down here, you can see all the discount, all the discounts for the games. If those of you who are looking to get for PC, everything on PC is super cheap. I bought my season pass recently. I got it for 17 bucks, so it's totally worth it. If you guys don't have any of that stuff, jump in there, do whatever you guys need to do, and try to get all those season passes. You can see all those discounts right here in the digital store if you guys want to from Xbox. You get the season pass for 25 bucks, Explorer's Edition for 30 Get whatever you guys need. That's where we're at, though. But that's for this little patch note. I wanted to cover all this stuff because after this, it's just all about the wild card stuff. So we're going to jump back over here and talk about more of the community crunch. I apologize for going back and forth. But as I said, this is a big week for us. And every week, I think it's just going to get more and more leading up to the launch of aberration i will shoot a video prior to the launch of aberration and i think we are going to live stream everything on aberration on that night so uh, we'll set all that up for you guys so we can be really excited for that so uh, with that we've got art play anywhere that's really exciting that's coming out here soon they're saying in december for release they're going to get the final qualifications in that means for those of you who are on the PvP server on Xbox, look out, we're coming. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm going to say. There's a new sponsored arc. If you didn't see it, it's right here. It's the arc frame. You guys can check that out just by clicking on the link in here and everything like that. And then there's the evolution event that was going on last week. That was part of the reason we moved this to this weekend was because we would no longer miss these Monday posts and stuff where we would get them all after the fact. So that's what we're going to focus on from here on out. So now we're going to go ahead and jump right back into the patch note, guys. As we talked about earlier, they've already introduced the turret limit. They've already put that in there where it's going to be on the HUD. It's letting you kind of identify where your stuff is going on and all that kind of stuff. Um, and, and that's really the only change change for PC. For those of you on Xbox, the only thing that has changed is that they've done some minor updates, nothing major on there, uh, and they can no longer download a dino onto your server if you're at the tribe cap or anything of that nature. So they've got to fix that one. And for PS4, basically all they did was they a, reduced the game font for clients so that you guys can see everything that's going on with their and the team cap issues for downloading dinos so those are those that's pretty much all the updates right there i'm going to link all those five previous things on there so you guys can see them so now we're going to go into what we always do at the end of the week or at the end of this video and we're going to jump right into that twitter page for jeremy so we're going to look at jeremy what he's got to say pretty much this week he's saying he's going to boost performance on pc and the heavy turret structure is going to be uh, coming out very soon. It's going to mostly compensate for the reduction in numbers and standard turrets. Then once again, the reason for this is is they are just trying to make the numbers come down of how many turrets are out there. This is going to make it so that it just makes it so the computer runs better. That's pretty much it. So you guys don't have these big giant turret walls. You can have a couple less turrets and it doesn't lag the server as much. So that's really the whole goal of this. That's all Jeremy's got today. Everything previous to this, you guys can go ahead and check it out. And as always, guys, make sure you guys check out our channel. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new and you enjoy what we do here. Make sure you guys give us that, that thumbs up. So if you're excited about everything or you like the video or all the news that's coming out, make sure you guys give us the thumbs up. And as always, leave a comment down below and let us know what you think, what you guys think about Aberration. If you think Aberration is actually going to come out or not, that's another good one to go on there. Um, and also, guys, make sure you guys check out our Patreon page with all the servers that we have going up. We're opening up a Space Engineer server later this week and all that stuff. You guys can support us there so we guys can keep giving you all all this great content and all that stuff so make sure you guys check out our patreon page you can get that in the description down below or at the top of our channel right now the other thing is is make sure you guys have a fantastic day and we'll see you guys on the next episode of lemurs corner